Okay. Hopefully we are live. I am trying to pull this up on my iPad so that I have the chat. Ooh. And sounds good. And for whatever reason, I am not actually lagging horrifically on there. So, um, just really quick, I'm going to share this on places. Okay, so I've got it so that I can see the messages on my phone as well as on the iPad. Um, I, I have a friend that wanted me to text her to let her know when I was live so she could come and join me. So I'm going to wait for a minute and, um, hey, there's one. <laughs> I just sent you a text message. Um, and it seems like, for whatever reason, that um, the stream is only maybe 10 seconds delayed first. So um, I'm not uploading anything to YouTube. I'm not exporting anything to YouTube right now or exporting my video. Uh, I did that earlier. I, I've been busy, super, super busy since I got up about 6.30 this morning. I recorded two looks, one palette. I'm doing a battle of video. Uh, I did a recap video for something else. I have a recap video I still need to record that I haven't done yet. Um, and I have an update video that I need to like uh, record a clip for to throw into like a video compilation that I'm doing right now. But I have been like super, super busy this morning. Um, I'm actually this like I've been drinking tea since like Thursday last week because I've been so ripped my hair out, stressed out. So I actually have um, coffee right now instead of tea because uh, with the way my day was in my head, I knew I would need something stronger than tea. So I have coffee. Um, I do prefer coffee or tea. It doesn't really matter. Um, if, if I drink tea, it usually is like one tea bag of the Irish breakfast or like an Earl Grey. And then I throw in a tea bag of like regular green tea. So um, I kind of get the benefits from that. And yes, I'm still in my PJ bottoms and stuff like that. So, and there's actually coffee on my PJ bottoms. It's, it says, let's see, espresso, espresso yourself danger highly caffeinated save the world in one cup at a time need more coffee and then of course there's like coffee beans and stuff let me let me throw a leg on the counter i don't know if you're gonna be able to see the coffee mugs and stuff on my pj bottoms i have an actual there's a top that goes with this too um, a girl that I knew had like outgrown all of her PJs and these are a size large and they fit me and, um, she's not much bigger than me, how they didn't fit her anymore. I don't know, but they're like this much too short, but that's what I get for having, you know, a hundred feet of leg. I've got it going on my iPad so I kind of see what's going on as well as see the chat. Um, okay. So some bookkeeping things really quick um the past two weeks i have been really really sick my fibromyalgia has like flared up something fierce uh it feels like i've been run over by a mac truck and then a steamroller backed over me so um i haven't been feeling the greatest so a few of the videos that will be coming up soon on my channel are going to be voiceovers because i was not sleeping um i was getting like 
three to four and a half hours of sleep a day. So I was very sleep deprived. Um, my voice would cut in and out. It sounded like I was sick, sounded like I was hoarse some days. Some days I didn't have hardly any voice at all. So it was just easier for me to record and not do like talking in the videos. I was also recording it like two to like four in the morning and then I would you know hop in the shower and get a shower and then record another video and then I was in bed at like noon so um I I have quite a bit of videos recorded I have like eight just on my computer now off my SD card that I need to edit that's not count counting the videos that are on my video card in my camera right now that I've recorded for the past few days so I've got a lot of videos like ready. I've got some that are already ready and uploaded. I just need to do description boxes for them. So um, there's videos every day. So even when I'm not feeling that great, um, I can still record. It's just takes me a little bit longer and then I have to do a longer editing process because of usually I don't talk through them. Um, I mean, heck, I've recorded three videos already today since I've been up. So uh, I've been very busy. Um, I edited a video I, and I recorded three videos back to back. So you will see this shirt in three separate videos. Um, and then I have to get a shower, do my hair, get dressed and um, do makeup for the event that's this afternoon. It starts at four and runs till six and it's one of those come and go kind of things. And then the actual memorial service starts at six o'clock. So I figured I wanted to leave the house by like 4.30, 4.45, because I still have to go up a couple places and pick up some supplies and whatnot before I get there to, you know, because it's stuff that I need for the event. Um, so my afternoon is pretty packed as well. So I was like, okay, I've got to get this done at noon. I usually talk for an hour, usually takes me a while. So for this, for this month, um, I didn't use like my foundations and stuff that I pulled last month. So they're still sitting in a little basket on the counter. So I'm just going to leave those there. So I, they're there if I need them. Um, I'm not going to pull an eyeshadow palette this past time because I was bad, but I have a reason for it. I placed an order for an eyeshadow palette yesterday. And it's one that I've wanted since it first came out. I've talked about it. I've watched videos on it. I've watched reviews on it. I've done my research on it. Um, I've looked at the colors in the palette and compared it to what I have. And there might be like five crossover shades period in my entire collection. Um, so I feel okay buying the palette knowing that I'm not gonna like double up on shades. Um, I had a sale on my website Friday and it was enough to cover like more than half of the palette price and so what I did was the very first time ever I used Afterpay. I had the entire amount of money to pay for everything 100% up front but I'd never used Afterpay. I wanted to get familiar with it so I went ahead and used it um, and you're basically paying the order price in like quarter installments every two weeks because I didn't understand how it worked so now I do. And so I did pick up a new eyeshadow palette. Um, I do know that I have an eyeshadow coming from Ipsy. <laughs> we'll talk about Ipsy in a minute. Um, so just for SNGs, I know I've got an eyeshadow coming in my subscription bag as well as a new eyeshadow palette coming. So what I plan to do is like a um, random.org makeup look with it as you know for like my first impression and then I'll, I'll try and do like you know six looks one palette uh, so that's like three separate videos I have to record with it plus I'll do a swatch video and then I will do a swatch comparison video with the palette to um, any and all shades that I have in my collection to show you what I have what palettes I own that might be similar to this palette just in case other people have similar palettes to me or they were thinking about buying it and I will do like a breakdown on um, how it works, how it blends, how it feels, that kind of thing like I usually do. But knowing that I had planned on doing multiple looks with this palette, it's going to take me a couple of weeks just to focus on this palette. So there's no point in me pulling eyeshadows 
or an eyeshadow palette to um, put into my mix knowing that it's going to be labor intensive for me with this eyeshadow palette when I, when I finally get it. Um, so that's my rationale behind that. Okay, the other um, thing that I need to talk about is the Ipsy. I did a live stream unbagging, even though people didn't want a live stream unbagging of it, but I was very disappointed in not only my Ipsy Glam Bag, but my Ipsy Glam Bag plus this past month. Now, I did get this one product that I absolutely love. I got a couple products I really love. I got the Pixi Glow Mist. Um, I have now a little mini cleanser. I have the toner and I have this. I wish I had like a moisturizer from them and then I could do like Pixi skincare for like a month and see how it works. But the moisturizers, when I looked at like the Rose Ceramide one, which is what I would use for my dry skin at like Target, it was like 20 something dollars. And that, no. No, I just, I very rarely spend that much money on a moisturizer that's only going to last me like two months. I have little itty bitty like sample size moisturizers that are this big that last me like six months. So um, I didn't see the point in picking up something that was almost $30 for, uh, you know, something that's only going to last me for a couple months. I want a moisturizer that I'm going to be able to use for like weeks. Um, so... Um, so the, when it comes to the Ipsy situation, I paid for add-ons. I got two eyeshadows and this Red Earth, um, facial oil, which I've been using basically every day since I got it. And I'm like a quarter of the way done with this jar and it's $38 to repurchase this. I'm like, but, um, cause it'll probably take me. I've been using it for two and a half, well no, three weeks now, and I've gone through a quarter of the jar. So it should take me another like nine to 12 weeks to go through the rest of this bottle. So hopefully by then I can afford the $38 to buy it. And hopefully it's still on sale for 38 because it's usually 49. So yeah, um, I really love the oil. It's super hydrating on my dry skin. It doesn't cause me to burn, it's amazing. So the palette that I got in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was the Huda Mauve Obsessions. And it was dry, it was patchy, it was hard to work with, it was crap to blend. I spent an hour and 45 minutes on a Two Looks One palette with that, with that palette and I about ripped my hair out doing it. Um, I got a couple of negative comments on it and I did comment on like uh, Alexandra O'Brien's video where she um, she tested out the palette and I left a comment on there that I got the palette and I had a hard time working with it. And I got called all kinds of hateful things underneath my comments. So um, y'all can stuff it. I just know from my personal experience working with my dry skin and my dry eyelids with my watery eyes that the palette was shit. Hi, Jason. Hey, Frog, this is my friend Jay. He's who I game with on Warframe at night. Say hi. He's at work, he snuck in. Um, so everybody has their own experiences when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and um, how they experience use with different products. So take into consideration your skin type, your uh, skin texture, those kinds of things, your age. I'm 38, I will be 39 in September. I have fine lines, I have wrinkles, I have all the lovely little things that happen when you get older and they don't bother me one bit. I like my gray hairs. I don't give a crap about them. I am not one of those like, I don't focus on like, oh, I have pores on my cheek and I have um, sebaceous filaments on my nose and I don't, I don't hide my gray hair. You're, okay, okay, well, we, we, <laughs> I, you just put me on mute or put the volume all the way down or put your headphones in, um, but continue working. So, um, I know for me, not every eyeshadow palette I own works very well for me. I have to put in the effort to use it. So that palette, I'm going to be decluttering it. Um, it's going to go in my declutter container in here along with a few other items uh, because of the fact that it was so difficult for me to work with. I will be posting it on Depop for sale as well as my website. Um, right now I have a lot of my makeup that um, I've decluttered recently already listed on my website. I spent this past weekend working on that. I added like 30 new makeup items onto my website. I haven't added them onto Depop yet. 
I will also be decluttering my Ipsy. I might as well just pull them fuckers now. Okay. These are going. The Ipsy Tetris palette is going for a couple of reasons. I like the shimmers and I like this navy blue shade. This doesn't show up and this is patchy. So I'm getting rid of it. Um, I've only used it a couple of times. There is a swatch video for this that will go up tomorrow. Um, and I did put a comment um, in the description box for that video that I am getting rid of it. So if anybody wants this, uh, I do know that uh, it's about, it's worth about $20. I'm probably gonna list it for 10. I have used it like four or five times. It just isn't, it's not for me. This Game Night shade looks just like the single that I just bought from Colored Rain. I have several shades like the Block Party shade and Game Day. There's like two just in my little miniature Zodiac palettes. The Game Changer shade I also have in a mini Zodiac palette and the Zodiac Love Science palette. I don't need it. Stack It Up doesn't even show up on me. I'm paper and this shit don't show up on me. So that should tell you that the pigmentation in this shadow is... So unless you're a medium skin tone and you want a chalky beige shade uh, or darker than a medium, you know, as long as you're darker than paper, you can probably get this shade to work. This navy blue is kick-ass. I love it. Um, but I'm not going to keep a palette for three shimmers, one that's a duplicate, two that I have similar shades for, and one eyeshadow that I actually enjoy. So I could depot it and keep it. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to. This is the Huda Moth palette. The mattes are crap. The three shimmers in here are beautiful. I had such a difficult time working with it, so I'm decluttering this as well. So this is kind of like a shop my stash declutter. Now, the... Hang on a moment. I think a spam caller is calling me. Let's go see if I can harass them. One second. Okay, you guys still here? Yes, no, maybe? There's like hair on the floor. All right, let me collect all of my hair. See, this is what happens when you brush your hair in the bathroom and you forget to clean it up. I'm constantly picking hair off things. Okay. It was some police officer association bull whatever and it was a robo call and they told me that it was there was a live operator behind the robo bullshit and i'm like no they're not oh did you hear me screaming <laughs> could you guys hear me screaming at the phone sorry but yeah, okay. Now that my blood pressure is a little higher, I tell you what, now I'm hot all of a sudden and the damn air just cut off. Ugh. All right, how much of that screaming did you hear? <laughs> oh, you have to wait, Frog. I did, um, I finally was able to, I recorded, um, I recorded a couple of robocalls. The one that was the wrath one, the, the God is going to spurn me one. I was finally able to record it. Uh, so I that should be going up in like a group compilation video. And then the other one was this guy who supposedly worked for a, um, 
a credit card company and he says that he works for Wells Fargo and Wachovia. I'm like, you do realize those are the same bank, right? Hey, so I was, um, I, I kept him on the phone for like 12 minutes. So that video should go up on my second channel tomorrow or like two days from now. Cause I've got videos on there going up every other day until the 21st. So you'll get a laugh out of that one. I was dying. Oh, it was so funny. Okay. So back to mini business and then we'll start pulling pro uh, girl. It has been a day. It has been a day. Okay. So Ipsy was the, um, going back to the Ipsy situation. So I ordered the three add on products. I got Superstar, which was the colored rain shadow. I did not get the other shade that I paid for. Hi, Krabby. So I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and, and literally back and forth, ripping my hair out. I was so frustrated with Ipsy. I about told them where to go and how to get there. So after I was like, I sent an email to Ipsy Care and I never received a reply. And then they were like, oh, well, we'll, we'll just deal with you here. I said, I don't want to go back and forth. You guys message me on my personal Twitter account. You message me on my OSPFL Twitter account. You don't know what, what one hand is scratching the other one's ass. I mean, literally, you guys don't know what is going on from left to right to up to down to sideways. I mean, literally, I was, I was so angry. I was trying to remain professional. I do have those moments. Um, I tried to be diplomatic, but I finally told the lady, I said, look, you guys are really pissing me off. I said, I'm about to tell you where to fucking go. And I said, I'm furious. I said, this has been going on since last December. Every time I'm told that something be, would be done to make something right that you guys did wrong, like overdrawing my checking account for over a hundred dollars for a $10 a month subscription. Um, excuse me? So now you're telling me that you can't go back and make reparations for the crap that you guys haven't been able to make reparations for for the past six plus months. So now you just want to kind of like shove it under the rug. Ain't going to happen. So that was a brief rundown. I got an apology. I got a what can we do to make this right? I'm like, I want the eyeshadow. That's all I want. I want the eyeshadow. I want the other items that I was promised months ago that were to be made reparations. It took you guys three months to get a hold of my bank to get all of my back NSF charges um, given back to me after you guys double and triple charged my checking account, causing it to go in the negative $100, not to mention the NSF fees. So I want it made right. I'm not a nasty person, but trust me, I can go from here to here right quick. So back and forth, got somebody that would say Ipsy Care comma H. So whoever H is at Ipsy knows what the hell they're doing. They got their head screwed on straight, unlike some of the K and the J person that I was dealing with that had their thumb stuck up their butt. So, sorry I'm yelling. Again, my blood pressure is a little higher. I get a package in the mail last week that had an eyeshadow in it. Ooh, I can go get it. Let, let, I, um, I can't reach from here. One second. So I got the, the item that I got in the mail. <sighs> okay, maybe I just put my head back on the counter for a minute. I think I need a five minute break. Somebody want to count to 10 for me? Okay. I, I, I should be okay for a moment. Now, Let's try this again without me almost dropping this beautiful eyeshadow. <laughs> this, talk about a heart attack. This is the Colored Rain eyeshadow. This is in the shade Superstar. This is the product I already have. This is a duplicate, if I can get you open.
Good thing I don't really have nails. Right, Frog? It is a beautiful gold metallic, holy crap. This is what they would call, if you look at jewelry, you have regular gold and then you have antiqued gold, but you also have bright gold. This is what bright gold looks like. It is stunning. So this formula is metallic. A little goes a long way. You can use it wet. You can use it dry. You can use it with your finger. You could dip yourself in this from head to toe and be absolutely a glowing gold goddess or God, whatever your preference is. It's a very wet formula, but I already have one of these. So this was the first package that I got. Also in this package was this little envelope from Ofra, which is a Godet refill in the shade You Glow Girl from Dupe That. Let me grab it. Well, oh, my roll cart's trying to run off with me. Oh, please don't break. This is the shade and I will swatch it. It's like a champagne-y, pinky, and it feels, it also feels wet. Let me put it down and put this on the counter before I drop something else. My damn ring light's trying to wash it out. It is beautiful. Okay. So this was also in the envelope with the duplicate shadow and you ain't going to come off my hand, are you? All right, I got it. So I put it in here already. That's a blush that I got from Ipsy. Um, I have a depotting tool that I got recently off of Amazon along with the little, the little Mac fixing a storm really bad outside um well thank you for stopping by um i do have the little magnetic thingies with little stickers on the back so i will be putting one on that zane the zane blush that keeps running around in here because that drives me nuts i'm afraid to look, i'm gonna open it one day and it's gonna go whoop on the on the floor and then i'll cry because it's really a pretty blush so that was package number one from Ipsy. This was the I'm so sorry we screwed up package. Then two days go by and I get another package in the mail. That's the hot pink bubble wrapper from Ipsy. I'm like, it's still July. Why am I getting another package? This came in it and I have not, I mean, I've opened it to look at what the color is, but I haven't swatched this out. This was the Trust Fund Beauty lip gasm liquid lip gloss in the shade text me and it's a beautiful copper shade i haven't swatched it i'm fixing to right now it's kind of a thicker formula i don't smell like anything god that's metallic that's beautiful And because my uh, my lips are uneven, I got smeary lipstick outside the lines from my coffee. Okay, so this was text me. That's pretty. So this was the second Ipsy package that's probably the I'm so sorry we screwed up. And it's beautiful. I will use this. I don't really care for lip glosses, but I have been using them more lately. It's very sticky. And I don't have any nail polish on because I need to do another nail update video, but I will be painting my nails in uh, for the memorial tonight. So then, um, Saturday I get a package in the mail from Ipsy. So this is the third package I've gotten from Ipsy. Oh, and before package one and two, I got a $3 refund in my checking account for the eyeshadow that they're now out of sock on. So because they couldn't replace the eyeshadow, they gave me the $3 back that I paid for. Now granted, these eyeshadows retail for $6.99. So paying $3 for them is like a steal. And I still want the Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain. 
after trying this shadow and I doctored the eye looks that I'm wearing right now so you guys can't see what I'm technically wearing. I did add some touches to the two looks one palette that I'm wearing so you guys don't know what the hell I did exactly. So this like I said is a beautiful shadow. I really wanted the lighter it's like a lavenderish mauvey peach but like not peach pink shade and I really wanted it I really want the Queen of Hearts palette but it's like $70 I've been drooling over that palette since it first released and then they relaunched it and they brought it back again and I want it but I can't afford it so um, and the palette that I just bought yesterday is cheaper than the Queen of Hearts palette and has more shades in it but I still want the, the to try out more of their formulas um, I've even applied for their PR list I've never been approved for it. Um, they are a black owned makeup brand, which I think is fantastic. Um, and I really do want to try more of their products to help support them because I like their products. Okay, so that was package one, package two, refund. Now for package three. This is from Koki Cosmetics. Somebody just asked me, actually Sylvia just asked me if I had ever tried Koki. And I said, I've heard of the brand. I know Ulta just started carrying them, but I've never owned anything from them. I do now. So this is their nail polish. And this was kind of funny. Both of these packages, I didn't realize the door wasn't closed. <laughs> if I'd have fallen off the stool, I'd have laughed. Okay. So the side of the lip gloss box says, be unapologetically yourself, which I always am. You can take me, love me, hate me, leave me, whatever. I don't care. Uh, I am who I am. I'm not going to change for nobody. And if you don't like me, then fine. Okay, so it says, be beautiful, be ethical. I try to be all of those. Oh, hey, Sylvia. I was talking about you. Okay, so this lip gloss says 10 free. It says, made without formaldehyde, toluene, DPB, perfumes, formaldehyde resin, parabens, xylene, which... If you ever want to make a really awesome bomb, all you need is a little bit of muriatic acid, a tablespoon of xylene in a plastic bottle and throw in some aluminum, put the lid on, shake the piss out of it and throw it as fast as you can because if not, it'll explode in your hand. Makes the best loud boom ever. And of course the plastic bottle, you'll have to stay away from it because you'll have shrapnel. But xylene is amazing at like removing like mold from things. <laughs> Um, it can also, you can spray xylene on the paint of a car and put saran wrap on it, leave it on for an hour and go and peel the paint off a fucking car all the way down to the plastic or the base metal. The stuff's amazing at removing caustic materials. It's a very caustic product. So the fact that this lip gloss says that it's, it's xylene free has me wondering how many of my lip glosses have xylene in them so it also says it is camphor free which camphor is actually toxic when it's applied to the skin and whether it's ingested or not it is very toxic why it would be in cosmetics products i have no idea because uh you can use camphor instead of like the old-fashioned smelling salts which is usually ammonia use camphor like you can get a block of camphor and you just go real quick. Even if you have like a cold, the stuff is amazing for opening up your sinus passageways, but you can't inhale it for more, more than like one quick sniff every couple of hours because it is toxic. We have camphor trees in the yard. I've grown up around camphor trees. The stuff is toxic. You don't want it on your skin. You don't want it on your face and you certainly don't want to ingest it. So why this says camphor free, I have no idea. It also says mineral oil free, phthalate free, sodium lauryl sulfate free, which sodium lauryl sulfate is a surfactant. It is a solvent. It is what you use in this stuff, okay? It causes suds. It causes cleansing agents to bubble. Why, again, you would have sodium lauryl or sodium laureth sulfate in a makeup product? I don't know. Now, it also says that it's gluten-free, lead-free, and nickel-free. Again, why are heavy metals inside a makeup product? Benzozophenone is not in here. NGMOs, and it says, any, or any animal-derived ingredients. This is cruelty-free and vegan. 
So my question to you guys is, how many of these ingredients are in our regular makeup? Because I want to know, and I'm going to start doing some research because 99% of these should never be in your cosmetics because they are dangerous to either take topically or ingest, period. And this is a lip product. We will ingest this. That is scary. Sorry, what? Right? Yeah, some red lipsticks do use that. But then again, when I was growing up, they used to make lipstick out of whale blubber. So that was... 40 years ago. So the Cokie nail polish says right on the front, formaldehyde, DBP, and toluene free. My dad was like, why is there toluene in your... Yeah, dad knows what toluene is too. And uh, th these are all free ingredients in here. It is made in the USA. And let's see, they're out of MD. Let's see, it is MD, Maryland? I don't know, it's a Yankee state. I know that. So it says, Koki puts fashion and innovation at your fingertips, professional quality lacquer in an array of superior trend setting colors for exceptional beauty in every bottle. So this is a bright blue nail polish. And if I didn't have to wear purple and black today, I would probably wear this because it's a really pretty royal blue shade um, or like a Jaybird blue, Robin blue, that kind of thing. It's a really pretty like bold primary blue color. So this was the third Ipsy product bag that arrived in the mail. And then um, we'll, we'll see what happens when I get my bag this month. I did uh, order two extra items this month, which was a um, Eva NYC hair product, so I can review that, and a Lexi brush. So now that I've been, oh my God, I've spent 30 minutes doing bookkeeping and I haven't picked a single makeup item. I've got rid of two, does that count? Okay, so I need to access the closet. I still need to do a video on like body care and hair care products. Do you guys still want me to do that? I haven't like gone through all the products and like decluttered nothing. But I know that when I did my inventory, my makeup inventory and declutter, you guys suggested that you wanted me to do that. So if you still want me to do that, let me know because I will do it. Checking chat. Yes, you want me to still do it? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the lip gloss and I'm gonna stick it in here with the other lip glosses. I'll probably pull it for this month anyways, but I just don't want the box in here. And I might as well pull the purple nail polish I'm aware for tonight. This is the nail polish I just pulled. It's from Pure Ice. This means, ah, the name of it is No Means No. Darn camera don't want to focus. Anyways, so this is the shade that I'm going to wear. And let me see if I can reach my shirt. I put it on my towel bar. Ooh. Okay, so here's the shirt I'm going to wear. You guys have seen this in a video. And then I just pulled a pair of jeans. I was going to wear a pair of black slacks or something, but I realized they didn't have any. I've got one pair of black weird pants that have like ruching down the side and it didn't yuck. Looks like something I'd have worn in the damn 80s. All right. So for those that don't know, I've been doing my monthly makeup, whatever is a little bit differently. I've been pulling the tray from my roll cart and I've been putting the products flat on here. And then I just kind of, here, I'll show you the setup. This is how I've been doing my makeup. I just kind of clip it on the side because this is what that little thing is for. This is what I use in the salon. And then I just have my mirror and then my camera and stuff set up. And then my makeup removing cloth is there. So this is how I've been doing my makeup. Um, I just kind of leave it on the tray, put the tray in the front and, and I go. So because I have the memorial service for Rachel tonight, I know I'm going to pull the physician's formula because I 
just got done using the the other two yellow correctors that I have and I'm going to pull both of my heart shape tapes um, for this month so I do know that those are the main products that I wanted to use color corrector and whatnot wise um, because I used the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow primer last month the only other primer I have is the Urban Decay primer potion so I'm going to pull that I have to still finish recording a review on like the wrap up review for the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I did a battle of video with this against three of my mascaras and then somebody suggested that I do, because it's a tubing mascara, they suggested that I put it over other mascaras to see how that would work and how well it works. And so far I've tried it under with three other mascaras under it and then this over it. So I need to film that recap video. I planned on doing it this morning, but I ran out of time to record it. So um, I'm going to pull the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. And this one I'll probably end up throwing away after this month. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I will pull both of those. And you know what? Um, I haven't tried it over the Excessive Lash Mascara. I might need to test it one more time to test it over that and see what I think. Now, what else is on this tray? Um, I pulled the Gimme Brow in shade 4.5 last month, so I'm gonna pull five just in case I wanna use it. Uh, I'm gonna pull the Lock One and Done in the shade Heavy Petal. And where is my, oh. I want to pull the e.l.f. brow gel again. I don't want to go back to my cella right this moment. I'm going to go ahead and pull that new lip gloss, the Text Me shade. And just to see how I like it, I'm going to go ahead and pull this Kiss and Smink. This is in the shade Tullum. It's a multi-purpose stick. I'm probably going to declutter this. It's a beautiful shade, but I just keep forgetting to use it. I've used it like twice doesn't have a fragrance. I don't know why I just sniffed it. It's because Rebecca sticks everything up her nose. Okay. Eyeliners. Because I know what eyeshadow palette I have coming in the mail. Well, you guys don't. Um, and I'm doing a battle love with my white liners right now. I'm going to pull my Maybelline in the White Luster. This is the... Um, lasting drama white eyeliner it's like an iridescent white it's really pretty i'm gonna give this another shot this is the bh cosmetics power pencil um i don't know if any of you guys have tried this yet this does not stay in my waterline i put it on and within an hour it's gone bye bye so i want it for the color that's all i'm gonna say I'm going to grab a cult from my line and oh, I better grab a black too. I'm going to grab Sex Kitten from Tarte just so I have a black one. And then if I need a liquid liner, I probably don't, but I'll grab Kat Von uh, Disease and her tattoo liner. Brow products. Oh, um... I've been using the, the Wet n Wild brow pencil. Um, looks like I lost a couple people in here, which is fine. Um, I know in my swatching all my brow products video, I talked about how hard this was. I've been using this all the month of July and my opinion on it has changed. So I'm gonna pull the CoverGirl. No, wait, I used that the month before. Crap. All right, let me pull the Model Co one and i'll just pull that one for this month uh, lip liners i'll wait on um because i don't know what else lip product i'm gonna pull and like i said if i need a black well i pulled a black liquid liner i forgot cat Von disease all right lip products i have a gold lip gloss or a bronze lip gloss i tried to put all of my like lip sticks in here and I know I'm going to want an, a, like an orangey tone. And the only orange lipstick I have is this Physician's Formula Muru Muru Butter in the shade Bayos. So I'm going to pull that. 
because I haven't used it in a couple months, I'm gonna pull the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin for a, like a neutral look lip. Oh, I'm gonna pull this. Okay, this is new. I have three new lip products that I bought looking for, where'd the other one go? It's in the other tray. Um, I was looking for a purple shade. So I stopped by Target and Walmart looking for purple lipsticks. This one's from CoverGirl. This is their Demi Matte Lipstick in, what the hell shade are you? Feelings. Um, it's 465 feelings. Now this was on clearance. It was 599. It says I got it for 418. I don't know why they're getting rid of it. I have tried it at least once. You thought I said orgy for what? It smells like a CoverGirl lipstick. It's called feelings. You know those things that people get that their butt hurt about all the time? The other purple one I got, this is from NYX. This is their Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color. It's a liquid lipstick. It says Grape Expectations. It's very punny. But it's a warm um, purple, very warm purple. And it smells like grape. Does not taste like grape. I did, we won't go there. Okay, so, um, what else do I want to pull? I'm going to pull this little guy, the Hi-Fi Shine from Urban Decay. I don't really like this one because you can feel the glitter in it. And if I can feel crap on my lips, I most likely won't wear it. And I think I'm going to stop right there for lip products because I have a bad habit of pulling way too many and I never use them. So as of right now for lip, I've got two lip glosses and three lipstick lip balm things. So the orange one, it's Bay Bayos. How do you get orgy from Bayos? It's a Spanish word. Technically it's amarillo, but because it's you know orange, but is my my espanol no no habla today or something? Okay, these guys I can put back because they ain't going to be in the way. All right, let's get into my drawers. And no, not like that, you bunch of weirdos. My, 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 dr I won't even go there. My drawers. Okay, so, oh, I probably ought to pull the next one. I've got a couple of products that are in like multiple drawers that are like multi-purpose products. So let me, let me pull out all three of my, my top drawers. Okay. Cause I've got blushes and bronzers and uh, highlights kind of all mixed into these drawers because either I run out of room or something. Probably more of the or something. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> Choking myself up. Uh, yeah, I wanted an orange color, not an orgy color. I've never had an orgy. I'm too possessive to have one. Yes, I wanted an orangey shade. Orange E. O R A N G Y. Orange E. Yeah, weirdo. Get your, get your mind out of the gutter. We're not doing gutter front property today. I might as well pull this out too. Don't fall on the floor, please. So I got one in here too, don't I? Crap! I got so many places to stick things. Thank you. Please don't fall on the floor again, I'd cry. <laughs> All right. Starting with blushes. Bl blushes. Let me get this off my lap because I'll probably drop something. All right. Ooh, will you fit in there? Damn it. No, you won't. Never mind. Um, I'm going to be doing depotting. I'm going to try and do some depotting. I do have my blush palette, the all-in-one that has like the face products. That's the 
blush, bronzer, highlight um, setting powders in my actual magnetic palette. So what I plan on doing is depotting this like sugar beauty blush. This is what I'm wearing right now. Um, I plan on most likely depotting this one as well. This is the Tarte Parte. Girl, you're fired. This is the uh, Pacifica blush in Wild Rose. I also got it in my Ipsy bag. This is the Duo. This is what I used all last month. I really do love the blush. But this also has the bronzer in it. The bronzer is a little bit too orange for me, but it has this killer feature on the back, which is amazing. So when I was doing the uh, battle of for the mascaras, it was amazing because I could do this and you could see the reflection of my lashes in it. So you could see exactly what they look like. Oh, it was nice. So I'm going to be depotting this and sticking that in my magnetic palette. Um, the Physician's Formula blush I haven't used yet. This is in Natural Glow. And the reason I haven't used this yet is because I have natural glow in here. So there's no point in me using this one that's brand new, hasn't been used, when I have this one in here. The other thing is, is I also have the little bronzer that's um, the, this is the regular bronzer one. It's the same shade as this. So I didn't open that either. And I haven't used this one. This is the pearl one. Uh, which I have a full size of the pearl. So um, I bought the little mini kit. I don't know if I should sell those off to let somebody else have the chance to use them because those are all brand new unopened. Um, but I mean, because I do have this, I'm debating on whether or not to depot this as well and stick that in the magnetic palette. So I have this that has this like orangey blush, orange E blush not orgy blush <laughs> for the, for people like frog get your mind out of the gutter okay so i have this is not good this is not good what have you done frog we have the dirty little secret blush here in kitty pink <laughs> I, I need i know if I was drinking something more than coffee over here, I would have a reason for the giggles, but Frog, it's all your fault. It is all your fault. <laughs> so we have this orangey blush called Kitty Pink from Dirty Little Secrets. It's like a light, like peachy color. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then we have the Tarte Party Blush. I use this sucker for like two months two and a half, almost three months solid. And it don't even look like I used it once. It looks brand new. So I know I'm going to be doing a depotting. So I don't know if I should pull this. Yeah. See what you've done? See what you've done. It's all your fault. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the Sugar uh, Beauty blush. And this is in Peach Peak. Right? Well, you did You did tell me that I was nerdy when it came to makeup and you were still confused, so I can understand. <sighs> okay, so you guys decide on the blush. Do we do Dirty Little Secrets Kitty Pink or do we do Sugar Beauty in Peach Peak? Oop. Let me try and get them so you, you can see both, both colors. Pick a color, top or bottom, bottom or top. Again, my mind. <laughs> Frog, it's your fault. <laughs> I, I know. I, shit. Uh, I just gotta. Um, don't mind me. I don't need blush today. <laughs> my eyes are bad. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's still watching this but you guys but I tell you what they're probably probably really confused right now as to why I'm blushing my eyes are watering and we're all laughing okay so, so kitty pink 
or what's this one again? Peach, peach, peak, P-E-A-K, you know, like the top of a mountain peak, not P-E-E-K, you know, like, uh, never mind. You like the Sugar Beauty one? Okay, that's the one I'm wearing. So I'll put it in there. God damn, my eyes watering. <laughs> okay. Got my eye water and my nose running. And now I can move that over. Okay, so I can now put my blush drawer back. It's all your fault, Frog. All right. Do the. <laughs> oh, yeah. All pure per mines went there. Per. You mean pure? Per? Per? <sighs> okay. We'll do bronzers, even though technically I just put one away, but I just used that this past month. So. I don't have very many bronzers. So we have the Manikandar bronzer that's like a shimmery bronzer. This is a duo that's a highlight. The highlight's too dark. The bronzer's okay. Uh, what's this one called? It says Peel Me. You don't have a name. Okay. It just says Bronzer Highlight from Manikandar. So we have this one here. Then we have the Tark Park Avenue Princess. We have the Hula Benefit, which is what I'm wearing right now. We have the Physician's Formula, the Muru Muru Butter Bronzer, which is in just the shade Bronzer, which I wouldn't use this one. I would use the one out of here before I open that. So that's this bronzer here. And then this one I used last month in conjunction with the Pacifica Bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze. So I'm going to go ahead and exclude this one. So we have four bronzer choices. Ta-da, ta-da. Stay open. Okay. Which one? We have Physician's Formula, Benefit, Tarte, or Manikandar. Pick one. They're all about the same shade. The Physician's one? Anybody else vote? Voting. One, two, three, four. You still typing, people? Okay, well, Sylvia picked the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Like I said, I think I'm going to depot de this. Now, I do know that this, like, thing that it's in comes out. But, I mean, this is so bulky for... Ooh, do you pop open, too? Peaky, peaky. I didn't know it did this. Watch me break my shit. <laughs> I have a little bit of fingernails. Ah, oh, that's all that's under there? It's just cardboard under there. Uh -oh. And then the pans are here, and then they're in little... You like the Benefit? I can pull both, I'll pull both. So I'll pull the Benefit, I think I'm gonna depot this one too. And I'll pull the physician's formula, but um, I most likely am going to depot this one. So I'm going to leave this out as a choice as well because it's got highlighters in it. It's also got a blush. So if I, since I'm going to use this, why? Well, I, I know, right? It's really a waste for the packaging. This is so much better. It's the same damn size, I think. No, okay. So the pan in here is smaller, but why is, couldn't they have just done this for the kits? It's excessive. So 
Since Sylvia picked this, this gives me a blush option, a bronzer option, and two highlighter options. So I will leave that out for right now because it has those other options. I'm gonna put that there because there's a product that has to go back in it because it don't fit in the other drawer. Highlights. Okay, so keep in mind, I have this yellow-based iridescent one and this rose gold one right here that's like a champagne rose gold. So that's where we're starting. That gives me two highlights right there. This is the one I have on right now and my vape just came on and I didn't touch it. Oh, crap, you broke more. Okay, so we have the one I dropped today that I feel bad for. This is the um, Aurora Lights palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I want to do a Battle of series with this palette uh, against the Jeffree Star that my subscriber sent me. This is in hypothermia, but I used this all of last month. Open. Gimme, gimme. Open. No. Okay, so I want to try and do a test to see how comparable this is to some of the other highlighters in my collection. So I plan on doing a battle of series with this one against like three of my highlighters because I think I have a couple things that I could mix and match to get something similar to this just to give people options if they don't want to spend the money on this. It is beautiful. There's a couple of his like regular highlighters I wouldn't mind trying, but yeah, so... So this is highlighter option one, and it's got the orange, the yellow, the purple, the blue, the orange, and the white. Um, and the only shade in here that's similar to that one is the white one. Then we have the Steve Laurent. I'm still not sure how I feel about this jelly highlighter. It's dark, I mean, dark for me. This is in Prosecco Please. Um, I got this in BoxyCharm, I think. Then we have my Physician's Formula Pearl. I just used this this month, this past month, so that's that's excluded. The Jeffree Star one is excluded because that was also used this past month. And the uh, Master Holographic one in shade 100 is also excluded because I used it last month. I'm going to move the little one out as well. So this leaves us with the Estate Cosmetics one in Do Me. I stepped in, didn't I? So we do this pastel pink shade that shifts like white. Then we have my eyeshadow that's called Aphrodite. We have the IBY Beauty one in shade Bubbly. I need to depot this because it the little hat for it broke. It's like a peachy highlight, but I already have the Physician's Formula peachy blush. So I could always use that. I, yeah, I love the Physician's Formula bronzer. Somebody said I should get Hoola Light and the Physician's Formula Light bronzer to try those, but they, these two work for me. So I don't want bronzers that are like orange though, because I'm too yellow for that. Then we have the Luna by Luna in shade Electra. We have the City Color highlighter in Nebula, which is a blue silver. We have the M Princess in Biscuit, which is a white, a beigey white highlight. Oh, and for those of you that don't know, I am going to sell the Rio, I think that's what it's called. The Rio Drive, whatever, the, the Ofra highlighter. I'm going to be selling that, the one that I got in my, was it Ipsy or BoxyCharm? It's too dark for me. Oh, Rodeo Drive. Um, this one is the Mannequin Dar in Fantasy. This is a little dark. This is the same shade as the, um, and I have a brand new one of these that's listed on Depop and my website because this was part of the, uh oh, we fucked up. Ipsy sent you a duplicate because mine arrived broken. So I have another one of these shades. It is stunning. It is a highlighter and an eyeshadow, and it is like a rose goldy shade as well. Let me move the camera. But as you can see, it is quite dark. 
I have to be very light handed with this, but it is stunning. So I have another one of these if you guys are interested in buying it. Um, but this is the other one that I have. Like I said, it's a multi-purpose product, eyes, lips, cheek. And then the last one that I have in here as an option for highlight is Star Island from Ofer Cosmetics. I do have highlights in my magnetic palette. Like I said, the new one, what was that thing? New Glow Girl. I, I might use that in the rotation this month because it's new. Um, so, We have quite a few highlighters to choose from. Again, keeping in mind, these are the two shades we're starting with. So we have the white one that has a yellow shift, and then we have this one here that's like a pink. I'll go ahead and swatch them. Hang on, the damn ring light is like washing everything out. I gotta move the lip. Oh, I didn't pull another. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm not gonna pull another lip, lip liner right now. Oop. So there are the two shades. The center shade is the yellow white one. And then this shade here is that rose goldy shade in the Physician's Formula palette. So those are the two shades that I have already pulled. Oh, the Ofer one is beautiful. Let me. It's like a beigey one. Here, let me do a couple of swatches. Run out of fingers here. I got a thumb. It ain't a finger, but it'll work. Okay, so the only thing I don't have swatched on my hand is Nebula and Aphrodite. All right. So we have the two shades from the Physician's Formula palette. We have the, oh, there's one I didn't, fuck. Here, let me grab that real quick. Oh, I think I got too much. Okay, so this is the Mannequin Dar in Fantasy. This is the Steve Laurent in Prosecco Please. It's, as you can see, it's dark. Okay, then we have Star Island from Ofra. This one here is the Luna by Luna Electra. Then we have this one here, which is the Estate Cosmetics one. It's the shade right here. What is that one called? Do me, do me, do me. Okay. Then we have this one here, which is the IBY Bubbly one. And then this one here, which was my thumb swatch, is the Biscuit Shade from M Princess. So let me move the camera so you guys can see it away from the ring light. Let me see if I can get you propped up on my leg here without the tripod falling over or me falling off. That'd be funny. I'll try crossing my leg. My legs is uneven. Okay, so we have Ofra. This is Luna, Estate, IBY, M Princess. This is Mana Kandar, and this is Steve Laurent. This one here, the Steve Laurent, that one's like really dark on me. It's the cream highlight. It's the one I'm debating on getting rid of because it's super dark. And then these are the two Physicians Formula highlighters that are in the kit. Okay. 
Okay, tell me which ooh shiny pretty pretty do you guys want me to use? Here, I'll number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and two are already in the palette. So put a number in chat of three through nine. I'll wait. Actually, I'll show you the Steve Laurent one on my face since it's out. I need it in a mirror. Thankfully, I have one. I still have to get a shower and get ready anyway, so I'm, I'm going to be washing my makeup off here in about an hour. So there's the Steve Laurent one over the other highlighter that I already had on. I had the ABH highlighter on. When I look forward, you can see the dark stripe on my face. laughing at I mean the Steve Laurent one I can make work so I will pull it it's dark it'll give me a chance to make a decision on whether or not to keep it and then I've got the two other highlighters. So let me close everybody back up over here because they're all sitting over here with the tops open. To like strategically you like the Ofra one all right I'll pull that one too and that means I have four highlighters to choose from this month I will put the broken back in I cannot believe I dropped it I went to put it on my roll cart and I turned around and next thing I knew it was going bloop right over the edge I'm like no Ew. I cried It committed suicide. All right. Now, just because I'm not pulling an eyeshadow palette doesn't mean I'm not going to pull single eyeshadows. And then last thing I will pull is lips, lip liners. Because um, I have an orange E shade, a purple, and a neutral shade. A gold lip gloss and a pink lip gloss. I love the Ofra highlighter. It is stunning. It's one of those highlighters that if I was one of those girls that like went places and wore pretty little sundresses, I would wear highlighter. Oh no.
Can you guys still hear me? The video feed just got stuck on my end. I can hear myself on the iPad. Well, crap, I'm almost done. Yeah, I know. Do you guys want me to start, stop the stream and restart it to pick the last three items? It's up to you guys. I mean, I can go ahead and pick the items and tell you what product and what color it is. Because I know what color the eyeshadow palette is. And until it gets here, I'll be using single eyeshadows for doing makeup looks. Plus, I'm working on a video series. Sylvia knows what the video series is. Man, I am stuck like Chuck. Alright, because I'm almost done anyways. And then I have like a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes that I can edit a video. And then I've got to get a shower and start getting ready. So that gives me a chance to record another video and then um, for the, re the length recap thing. So, okay. So because I know what color the eyeshadow palette is that's coming in. And I want shades that are going to be comparable but not like the exact same shades. I'm gonna pull my City Color eyeshadow. This is in the shade Beach Cottage. It is a like, kind of like a turquoisey green shade and it's a cream shadow, so I'm gonna pull that. I'm going to pull my Ella Eden shadow in the shade Harmony. It is a peachy iridescent um, eyeshadow. Let's see. I want to pull stuff that's kind of comparable that'll work with the other palette but not be like the same. I'm going to pull the IBY Beauty eyeshadow in Get Soaked. It is a, a nice neutral kind of undertone mauve, like a mauve pink shade. And if you've ever, if you've seen my like Ipsy unbagging videos, these have all been, all come from Ipsy. And then I'm going to pull my Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow in this shade Desert Sands. This is in their Marrakesh palette. It is a bronzy gold shade. It matches the color of the lip gloss that I got as the We're So Sorry We Fucked Up thing from Ipsy. So those are four eyeshadow singles that I just pulled. 
I didn't pull any matte shades because I know the eyeshadow palette that is coming in is, um, it's a matte eyeshadow palette. So I think between the bronzer and the blush and the eyeshadows that I picked, um, I should have enough product that I can do like makeup looks and stuff. I will do like I normally do. I will do the the chit chat get ready with me using my monthly shop my stash products. Um, I will probably record that tomorrow. Um, and then I'm rearranging stuff on my tray here to get things to fit. Some stuff is taller than other stuff and my physician's formula palette actually fit on here so that should actually fit quite nicely usually I would show you the, like the entire drawer set up what I'll do because the video stream is stuck I will take pictures of it um, I'll take a picture of it and post it on my community tab and put you know this is my August shop my stash products that I pulled kind of thing that way you all can see what I pulled and I will open the eyeshadows so you can see the colors of them when I take the picture so that way you know what I pulled. And then lastly for um, lip liners, because like I said, I have the orange e pink shade, um, I have the purple, I have the neutral, and then the gold and the pink lip gloss. Yes, I have a funeral to go to at, I'll be, I plan on getting there after five, before 5.30. It, the actual service doesn't start until six. So I don't want to get there too early. Um, I don't really have an orange lip liner and I don't have a purple one, but I do have like a grayish colored one that's kind of like a mauve that might work with the purple. This is from Essence, it's called Sucker for Gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. And Jeffree Star lipstick, I gotta look at that and see what the hell shade it is. It's like a very neutral, it looks like, like a, a cool undertone shade. So I think I'm gonna pull the lip liner from my line of cosmetics called Ravishing. I will pull that as well. It's a very neutral undertone shade. It's very comparable to the Jeffree Star one. Can you guys not hear me? Can you guys not hear me? Oh, I heard that. Okay, so I went ahead and just pulled two lip liners. Like I said, uh, um, I will take pictures of everything on the tray and post a picture of it on my YouTube community tab so you can see everything that I pulled since the stream decided it wanted to go. And um, I will open the products and when I take a picture so you can see the shades of things and um, that way you guys know what I pulled. And it'll be easier to write the description box because I'll have a picture of it. But I mean, I can just pull the tray out there. So anyways, um, thank you for those of you that came to the stream. Thank you for chatting. Um, just having people in the stream helps with not only engagement, but having chatting on there as well helps recommend my channel to other people. And um, don't forget to toss a like on the stream. That also helps with engagement as well. I'm sorry that, you know, the stream got stuck, but I have been streaming for 80, almost 85 minutes. So for an hour and 25 minutes I've been streaming. This usually happens with me anyways. I started like two minutes after noon, I think. I plan on going live right at noon, but I still have to, I have two more videos that I still have to record today. Um, I have to paint my nails, I have to get a shower, um, and I have to do my hair and makeup. 
after my shower. So um, I've got a lot of stuff to get done. So I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye, Sylvia. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Frog and Jay and everybody who came to chat, came to the live stream, and didn't make me sit here all by myself playing with makeup. I appreciate it. When I do the, the get ready with me with the makeup, do you want me to do a live stream tomorrow? I can do one of those. I mean, it'll be one less video I have to edit. Yes, no, maybe so. Wow, the stream is completely stuck on my side, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank you all for coming, and I will see you in, well, my video will go up at 5, but I will not be here. So I did not premiere it. Um, and I will try and do a live stream tomorrow, um, probably about the same time, which is noon for me. It's like 6 p.m. for Sylvia. Um, so, and it's like 11 a.m. for Frog, I think. I think it's 11 a.m. for Frog. I think she's central time. Anyways, I will see you guys in another video. Um, and like I said, I will try and do a live stream. And I will take pictures of the products that I picked. So I will see you guys later. Bye.